Yo, Adam Saxon with Guyney Cube, and in this video, we are gonna look at Publish to Web, what it is, what it means, and also look at some of the recent changes that occurred in the Power BI service. Let's go. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, Publish to Web, what is this? If you didn't know, Publish to Web allows you to generate what's called like an iframe code or an embed code and allows you to stick that into any web page that's out there. So blog post, SharePoint page, whatever, with no authentication. And the real, wait a second, enough of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop and take a look. I mentioned that published web is something that you can generate an iframe or an embed code and put that on a web page, whether it be a blog post or whatever. So we're looking at guyinacube.com and I've got a web page where I put a published web link into that web page, and you can see my report. This is sales data. You can potentially expose data that you don't want to put out on the internet. And what you may not have known is that Publish to Web was enabled by default. A lot of people didn't know this. And from an enterprise perspective, I talk, I've talked with a bunch of enterprise customers where they didn't realize this, and now they've got data out there, and you know it causes problems and friction, and it's you know a problem. If you are using Publish to Web, you wanna make sure that you're not doing this for any data that's sensitive to the organization. So sales data, HR data, maybe someone's social security code, right? Something like that where you don't wanna expose that out to the internet, you wanna maintain control of the data. So where would you use Publish to Web? A great example that I show folks is the Microsoft investor page where you can actually go and explore financials that investors need to know from a stakeholder perspective, right? And so this is actually a government requirement in the United States that this data be available. And so Microsoft has done this through Publish to Web and you can see the old traditional tables as well. So there are reasons why you would want to use Publish to Web. All right, let's go over to Power BI and see how this works. So I'm in an actual app workspace. One thing to keep in mind is we just had a recent change. This was on by default, but the recent change is that now it's gonna be blocked by default, right? So this is a good thing. I think this is a good thing. So by default, folks aren't gonna be able to generate this embed code or iframe code without talking to their administrators first and to have some sort of governance or process around this. Let's show you how this works. Let me go into a report. I'll go into AdventureWorks and inside of this report, I'll go to the ellipsis, I'll come down to a bed and you will see publish to web public, All right? So this is where you can go generate that embed code. So let me go ahead and select that. Uh-oh, I can see the iframe code. But Adam, you just said that this is gonna be blocked by default now. Hang on, hang on. If you've already generated that embed code, you can still see the embed code. So existing embed codes that are out there, you'll still be able to look at them. In this case, I already generated it because I showed you on the web page where it is. So let's go to a different report. Actually, let me go over to a different user. Go over to reports, come into Contoso Sales, go to the ellipsis, and we'll say embed, publish to web, public. Bam, blocked contact your admin to enable embed code creation, right? So like I said, this is blocked by default. Let me go back over to my other user, my ASAXN account. And we'll go to a different report here. We'll go to opportunity analysis sample, come down, embed, bam, blocked. Whew. Of note, both users that I just showed you are Power BI admins and my account ASAXON is a global admin for the tenant, which means I've got rights to everything and I'm blocked. This is great. I think this is great, right? Gives you a little bit more control over it to make sure you're not exposing sensitive data. All right, so what do we do? From an admin perspective, when you go to talk to those admins, what they're gonna have to do is come down to the admin portal and go over to tenant settings and look down below at publish to web. I'd mentioned that this has been enabled by default actually since I think the beginning of Power BI time and it still technically is enabled. But one thing you'll see here is that now it's only going to allow existing code. So it's not gonna allow any generation of new codes and that's for the entire organization. That's why it also blocked the global admin as well. So it's everyone, you can only use existing codes, no further generation of new codes. So if you wanna create a new code, what the admins are gonna have to come in and do are go down and select allow existing and new codes, but don't leave this on the entire organization. If you do, you're back to the way it was where everyone can create this. But you're gonna to wanna to select specific security groups. In this case, I'm gonna say 
the admins. So this is me and Patrick. So we're gonna be allowed to generate these embed codes, but other folks will not be able to. You may have other groups in your organization that you're gonna delegate that to. So maybe there's some governance board or whatever that's gonna go through and handle that outside of the admins, right? So we'll go ahead and hit apply. Come back to the app workspace, refresh the page, right? So now if I go to reports, cause now I have the ability to do this, I go to opportunity, the opportunity sample, hit the ellipsis, embed, publish to web, bam, now I can create this embed code, right? So this will walk me through generating that code. So now Patrick and I have the ability to do it. Anyone else in our organization does not have the ability to use publish to web. This is amazing, I love this. So the other thing you can do as an individual, you can come up to the gear, you can come down to manage embed codes and you can see the embed codes that you have generated. You can optionally delete these if you want. And then your admins for the tenant, they can go over to the gear icon, come down to admin portal, go over to embed codes and see all the embed codes within your organization. I actually talked with one customer where they thought no one was doing this. They went to their embed codes and whoa, a lot of people are doing it, right? So this will give you insights into who's out there. So now you can come in and review. You can revoke these if you so choose, right? So you can delete these or you can follow up with the folks that are. It'll give you the workspace name, who published it and what the current status is. So that's a way that you can manage this after the fact. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. Were you using Publish to Web? Did you even know that this existed? And or are you now managing it and happy with this change? Let me know down in the comments below. I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.